guys good morning day two of the FLW Sam Rayburn tournament I'm on the boat with pro Roger Hughes his rookie year worked his way up through the ranks we're on our first spot we've been here about 10 minutes and we've already missed probably what do you think it was four pounds it was a it was a beast so uh, totally different fishing conditions today let me just say it was probably the roughest ride I've been on in a boat just to get here. Good thing I emptied my bladder first because we would, yeah, we had a wet situation in my pants. It was that rough, but safely here. Rod's on the boat, a little bit shaken up, but we're good. So we're just gonna fish this little cut in here. Grass everywhere. It just looks juicy, so looking to get on some big ones today. It's going to be a good time on the water. I think we're going to bust some big ones today. So we were boat number 19, which means that we were the first flight out. And we kind of got the pick of whatever spot we wanted on the lake. Because we were the first one in this cut and then there's several boats that moved their way in here. Probably thinking, dang it, he got to this spot first, which is good for us. So. So it is 10.47 a.m. We've moved a couple spots. The second spot we went to, the water was pretty dirty. So we came into this other pocket. Water's much cleaner. There was more boats in here, but landed two fish. So we're right at four, four and a half pounds. And then uh, we just had a bite here at the boat. So we're probably going to stick it out here for at least a little while because it's still early and I think he can grab two more fish out of here. As you can see, not a cloud in the sky. It's still a little bit, a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of a chill in the air. I'm just sitting on the back of the boat trying to warm up. I got my camera bag open from yesterday because it got soaked and it's wet on the inside so I'm hoping the sun will dry it out a little bit. All right, that fish was a game changer for us because that probably went just under four pounds. Much needed. So this little pocket right here that we've been fishing, several hits, three fish out of here so far. One more and then it's what I like to refer to as Coal City. And especially, are you kidding me? Please be a keeper. <laughs> oh yes. That's a good 
big spot. No, it's a large mouth. I hooked him funny, but I got him. Number five. When I caught the fish on the Carolina rig, I told you hit it really hard and run really hard with it because there's more in there. He was wanting to get his bait and get it and uh, get his food and get out of there. Okay, so one of them hit like that. I don't think in all the videos I've recorded on my channel that of course I haven't done this, but I'm with a pro, but he caught a fish. I'm explaining that and then he catches another one right here on the same I haven't even turned record off. So we've got five fish in the tank. Two of them are decent. The there's two that are just barely keepers. So that's we need to replace those. That's the game plan right here. So we, we like I said, this little pocket right here is kind of on fire right now. So so we're we're just gonna <sighs> adrenaline's pumping right now. I'm telling you, this it's going to be a tough day for a lot of anglers to, out on the water. And so if you're coming back with the five fish, especially this early in the day, it kind of takes the pressure off just a little bit. This is, this is awesome. <laughs> First call of the day. Not by much, but I think he's gonna help. Jump out of them live wheels. Yep. And we don't need that today. If I call them two, I'm happy. So I ain't gonna hurt them and I ain't gonna stick nothing in their mouth. These other ones, I'm gonna stick a bogey on until I figure it out. I think this one's my small. I still want to fight. 
should be it, right? Easily my coal, and that'll be my next coal. So, green will be the next coal. I wish I could take him and add him to yesterday's. <laughs> First upgrade of the day. It was a decent little upgrade. You know, that fish there just barely weighed over a pound. That and probably a pound three quarters. Yeah. So probably Half a pound, I'm guessing. Nice work. On a day like today, that's freaking awesome in my book. <laughs> uh, Nothing but good times. We're trying. Because I know for sure just some people are on the struggle bus right now. Oh, yeah. Good times, good times. I'm not gonna lie, that's the roughest boat ride I've ever been on. Yeah. I, if it's rough out like this, I don't go. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the, uh, <laughs> it's the trials and tribulations of a pro bass pro fisherman. I'm pretty sure I sat on my sack three times. My kidneys hurt, but we're still alive. But those are some freaking big waves. It's crazy. Very crazy. All right, so it's 2.06 right now. We have to be at weighing at three. We have two more. We're gonna fish here and then one more spot closer to weigh in. Just finish up here? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna finish out here, then head into weigh in. So, we'll have another rough ride for about 15 minutes to get over there. We're going to see what, see what happens over here. And these Texas weathermen, they don't know squat because they said six mile an hour. That, that, that's, not, that's not six. That's, yeah, that's blowing 20 at, at least. And I think I got a hernia. That ain't no good. <laughs> we are at weigh-in. Just before quitting time. <laughs> Is that water still cold? It's real cold. <laughs> Roger Hughes, come on with it. He's got a limit in the bag. He had nine pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. Trying to move up today, Roger. Let's hope. Yeah, man. Two or five bass today, and Roger does have a better bag, no doubt about it. 12 pounds, five ounces for you here on Woo! day two. And a big old fan club. That puts you into third place right now, Roger. 22-3. Now, you're going to be right there on the bubble, man. Right on the bubble. That four pounder I lost yesterday, I lost him again today. Same spot. How you feeling about that? I wish I had him yesterday for sure. Buddy, but hey, you're not in the worst shape. Like I say, I kind of estimated 21, 22 pounds for the cut here, and like I say, you're right over that. Let's hope you're right. Good luck to you. Thank you. How was it? Good. Yeah. How are you? I'm Daryl. Daryl, Josh Buckner. Nice That's to meet you, dude. You yeah, did a good job with that one. In there, he said, oh, my son's on the boat with him. You did a good job with him. Good, good kid. I did. You tear him up. I did. 
Okay, I have to give credit where it's due. I bet you had a good day. We did. Hey, make sure uh, you guys sign my little slip still. Yeah. Do it all you gotta do. It's gonna take a while. You got to see some fish catches, but. Did you? I caught more today than yesterday. I just didn't have. You know. <laughs> All right, that wraps up day two. Uh, we're going to head back to Roy City. Uh, it's going to be about a four-hour drive. Not looking forward to that. We're going to get something to eat first. Cole's in the parking lot changing clothes. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace! Peace.